Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video I want to talk about Brett Wilkin, the rising star. By the way, yeah, this is him on the photo in case you can't recognize him, which is understandable. I mean, he looked like a completely different person three years ago. 2018, he looked like, like a kid. Look at him now. <laughs> Look at this transformation. It looks like it has been 15 years in between, not three years. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing, I mean, yeah, I guess genetic mainly, but if most people did the same things that they are doing, they probably wouldn't have this kind of transformation, but still, I'm sure they're doing a lot of crazy stuff, because this, I mean, this is just ridiculous, three years, crazy. So, Brad Wilkin is one of the most popular bodybuilders right now, the transformation that he made from classic physique to 212 to the open was just insane but the question here is how healthy was it that he did that so in one of my previous videos about nick walker and him potentially growing too fast i mentioned uh dallas mccarver and somebody commented down below that the reason why dallas mccarver died was actually choking but not from food but actually because his throat was also enlarged like everything else in his body it was so enlarged that he wasn't able to breathe in the end, and that's why he died, by choking. And then somebody mentioned that Brad Wilkins' voice changed in the past couple of years, which is something I definitely noticed. And what is more interesting is that the same exact thing happened to Dallas McCarver. He was also growing super rapidly, and in the end, his voice became super raspy. And the same thing is happening with Brad Wilkins. So the first time I noticed this, like, like clearly noticed it, was when these guys did a podcast live. And I thought to myself, why is his voice so raspy? I mean, he probably has a cold or something. You know, I felt like something is not right here. Because I heard him talk before and it wasn't like that. Since that moment, his voice was different. And it's not the cold. It's still like that. A couple of months later, his voice still sounds the same. So let me show you this little video first. But in, in general, he usually gives good information, so I appreciate that. And and then, you know, another thing is just the family man he's became, you know, and the, the good person he's really been. He's He has his brother's <clears throat> he has his brother's intentions in front of him. So like I said, he's all, he has his brother's <clears throat> he has his brother's intentions in front of him so like i said he's always been great to me always checks in on me so great dude officially met james yesterday and honestly like big word for me when i look at him is respectable so i <clears throat> respect everything about him you heard this right it doesn't sound normal right it sounds like he has a cold but he doesn't because there is a new video of him where he sounds the same if not even worse let me show you this Costco probably walk out of here four hundred dollars out of pocket, but hey, this is what we do. This is what we counting. enjoy. So we're gonna have some fun and show you that's how you get with gain weight. Working. It's the orange juice diet. All right. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the main reason we come here. It's for these rice packets right here. That who? How did we discover these? I'm Am I right? Probably the same or even worse. And look at how big he is. By the way, look at his back when he's just walking there in a regular shirt he looks like an absolute monster right now and only a couple of years ago he was he was an athletic looking dude like he was probably i don't know 200 pounds now he's already close to 300 and look at the, the belly i mean he's probably stuffing himself full of food all day long well that's what you gotta do if you want to grow this fast you're probably not gonna be and look very healthy, but that's the way to go if you want to be one of the top professional bodybuilders in the world and if you want to do it as quickly as possible. Alright, so the next thing you're gonna see and hear is probably gonna blow your minds. It blew my mind. It was just insane how much this guy changed. So here, take a look, take a good look at him right now and what he looks like and how old he looks. And now I'm gonna show you what he looked like three years ago how much younger he looked and how much younger and cleaner and nicer his voice sounded let me show you how's it going how you feeling today well well we just got checked in so made weight that was the main concern you know that's always the first step so got the depletion done the last couple days um 
My wife and I, Ivana, we came in yesterday, so it's been a comfortable week. Got in yesterday, you know, got the feet up, got a quick workout. So then just got checked in and made weight. So now I actually just got to start eating and um, consuming more carbs and stuff to get ready for the show. So I'm in a much happier mood. But no, it's good to be here. I, I've been looking forward to this moment. We'll kind of go into that, but for a long time. So this week has been circled, and so now we're here. I've just been laughing by smiles. Look, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on Brett Wilkin. Uh, I predicted him winning the Arnold Classic, if you watch my Arnold Classic prediction video. And I'm a huge fan of him just as a person uh, and, and as a bodybuilder. Again, I think he has a potential to win the Mr. Olympia. I'm a huge fan of him, of his wife as well, who is, by the way, Serbian. Ivana Vujicic, uh, I know he calls her Ivana, but in Serbia that's actually pronounced Ivana, doesn't really matter, uh, he, he's, a, he's a great bodybuilder, he has a lot of potential, I just hope he will stay healthy, but when I saw this transformation, voice and face wise and body wise, of course, it just made me go, what the hell, <laughs> it just made me go, wow, this is just, this is something I had to make a video about, because it's very, very interesting, at least it was to me, I hope it is to you as well, so, Brett Wilkin, crazy transformation, for good and for bad as well, when you look at this guy, three years difference, you wonder if it is the same person, now, I mentioned Dallas McCarver before, and that the same thing was happening to him before he passed away, so let me show you this for a moment, at a young age, I developed a desire to be great in this sport. And that desire was greater than my urge to go out and party or waste time eating junk food. So that was Dallas McCarver a couple of years before he passed away, maybe like four years, something like that. And uh, here you can see him uh, the year when he died. Quite a difference, right? As far as the physical appearance, the, the face, the body... And also, the, and you're going to hear in a moment the voice. So let me play the next video and you pay attention how raspy his voice got. I mean, that's pretty typical. Like, they hook me up to all kinds of things. They got more machines here. And they got guns that shoot electrodes into you and all kinds of crazy stuff. But it really works. Hey, Dow. Hey. How are you good, good. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Lay back or face Go down. on your stomach livelihood so there's nothing more important than this really to me um so and the, the, the chiropractor killed no one and uh you heard that too right i mean his voice wasn't only raspy it really sounded like he was struggling to speak like he was getting tired while he was speaking and also you can see a significant difference in in, in his face he looks like he aged quite a bit and it was only he was only 26 or 27 he was about to turn 27 i believe the year he died so this is a this is a face of a 26 year old right i don't know why how does this happen like is it just because the body is so stressed because of all the eating and uh, and all the and all the gear i don't know maybe growth hormone i have no idea honestly but uh, something is definitely happening because all these guys are growing like like crazy so rapidly and uh, they they start to look older they start to look unhealthy they, they start to sound really unhealthy like they're actually sick like they're actually having a cold or something so same thing similar thing is happening to brad wilkin and i just really hope it's not gonna be the same ending that's what i'm worried about you can also google uh, vocal cord paralysis which is basically the enlargement of the vocal cords as you can see right here this is what happens it's it's explained here in this photo so the vocal cords are thickening and there is no air going through them or there is less air so these guys are struggling to speak properly and also to breathe with time and that might be the reason why Dallas McCarver actually choked and died so once again to make it clear I am a huge fan of Brad Wilkin I believe he will live long enough to actually win the Arnold Classic, and I think he will actually do it. And I can actually see him winning the Mr. Olympia and becoming the best bodybuilder in the world. I mean, eventually, probably not 2022, maybe, who knows, but probably not. Though I do have him as one of the top bodybuilders in the world. It will just take some time. But more importantly, that time needs to be spent wisely. I know he is concerned about his health, he's taking care of it. But growing this fast, I just don't know how, how can this be done without taking a lot of risk and doing a lot of crazy stuff 
because the, the, the sheer amount of pure muscle that he was able to put on in the past couple of years, it's just not normal, it's absolutely abnormal. And uh, the way his face looks, the way he sounds, it, ju it just doesn't seem healthy, that's what I'm saying. And uh, it was just very impressive, very intriguing, and really made me go, what the hell, when I saw what happened to his, to his body, to his face, to his voice. So I wanted to share it with you guys, because I'm also very curious, how do you guys feel about this? What do you think? What is the opinion of the public? So guys, make sure to leave the comment down below and share your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, and bye bye.